Suicide Squad is the newest film in the DC Extended Universe and it stars Will Smith, Jarrett Leto, Margot Robbie, Viola Davis, and many others. After the events of Batman v Superman, Amanda Waller decides to form a team of highly dangerous criminals to fight crime and eventually sends them on a mission. And just in case you haven't seen the movie yet, this review is 100% spoiler free, so don't worry, you are safe with me. Now, I was extremely excited for this movie. It was one of my most anticipated films of this year and the trailers looked great and I was really hoping it was going to bring something new to the table for superhero films. And sadly, even though I had more fun watching this film than Batman v Superman, this is the worst made movie in the DC Extended Universe, so needless to say, I was really let down by this film. But first I want to talk about the things I did like with this film, and by far the standout in this movie is Will Smith as Deadshot. He was amazing! He is the most badass member of this group, and you really understand why he is considered a highly dangerous criminal, and he also has the best action scene in this movie. They gave his character the most background, making him the easiest to relate to, and I also really liked the arc that his character took. I also found the tie-in that they made with him in the DC Extended Universe pretty clever. And I thought for the amount that he was in, Jarrett Leto was great as the Joker. He took a new rendition on the character, a lot more lighthearted and funny, but still just as crazy. Margot Robbie too is great as Harley Quinn, and like Jarrett Leto, she did a great job at balancing the humor and the crazy. And I really would love to see a standalone Joker and Harley Quinn film. Just picture a psychological thriller about the relationship between the Joker and Harley Quinn and how he turned her from a psychologist to this crazy person. I think that'd be an incredible film. And to be completely honest, I kind of wish that's what Suicide Squad would have been. Guy Courtney surprised me in this movie. I have never been a fan of him, but I want to see more of him in this movie. He was great as Captain Boomerang and really funny. And I really did love the Suicide Squad as a whole. I thought they had great chemistry with each other and I do look forward to seeing them in another, well, better film. And Batman, for like the two minutes he is in, he is awesome and I am even more excited for a Batman standalone film. I also really like that they shook up the tone in this movie because a big complaint for people, and me included, is that DC films have been too dark and bleak. And this movie is really funny. But at the same time, it's not like a comedy hour. They still have some dark elements in it too. The first act was actually pretty good. For like the first 30 to 40 minutes, I was quite enjoying myself with this film. Granted, it is a little exposition heavy, which means they're like, oh, here's this character, everything you need to know about them, and this character, everything you need to know about them, which is a simple way of introducing characters. But for all the characters that they had to introduce, for me, it kind of made sense. And again, they also gave some great background in the first act for Deadshot. And also Harley Quinn and a little bit of El Diablo too. My biggest negative with this film is the plot. It is super generic. Oh, let's stop people from destroying the world. And honestly, it has the exact same climax as both Ghostbusters and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that came out earlier this year. And that's not some good company to have. Which leads me to the villain in this movie. Which, if you don't want to be spoiled for who the villain is, I'm just letting you know I'm going to say who it is. So you've been warned. The villain in this movie is Enchantress, and oh my god is she terrible. Again, she's just your standard villain who wants to take over the world. And the way in which they use her magic, it looks really bad. And the way in which she uses her powers, like the way she looks, it is almost laughable at times. It also made no sense to me why they decided to send this group of people on this mission. They just seem way too out of their league because really only two of them have superhero powers, and you have poor Captain Boomerang that just has his boomerang, Harley Quinn with her club, and they're expected to defeat this magical entity that can take over the world? Needless to say, the climax in this movie is freaking ridiculous. Which is why the villain in this movie should have been the Joker. And if you've seen the trailers, it actually leads you to believe that he is the villain. Because that makes sense, a group of hardened criminals going after the biggest criminal in the city. Which would fix one of my other biggest complaints with this movie. The Joker is not in it enough. He has no great scene, just a couple little ones here and there. So I don't understand, why didn't they make him the villain? Killer Croc and Katana are also vastly underused in this movie, which really sucks because what I saw from them, I really liked. I also didn't like this character, Rick Flagg, who did get a substantial amount of screen time. He's a very bland character and he's basically a dick to be a dick. And if I'm being completely honest, the actor that plays him did not give the most enthusiastic of performances either. The ending in this movie is also terrible. Not only are there a lot of quick shots, especially in the action scenes, that can make things confusing, you can also tell that there are large chunks of this film that just got taken out. Because not only do some characters reappear with no explanation, 
There are just some things that don't make sense, like character choices. And the pacing in this movie is also not the greatest. For example, right before the climax, there's this really slow scene, which is clearly used for character development and team building. But because they only really use this one scene, it goes on for way too long and the movie ends up dragging. Had they had shorter scenes like this throughout the film, it would have flowed so much better. And the soundtrack? Well, not gonna lie, it's pretty sweet. It is overly excessive. It is just song after song after song after song. And I'm not even really exaggerating. Like honestly, whenever there was a lull, they would throw in a song. And at times the song wouldn't fit the tone of the movie, so it would take you out of the film. Finally, while I did appreciate that they went for another tone, and it worked most of the time, I felt like this film could have been a little more darker. Because really, out of all the films in the DC Extended Universe, this is the one that should have been edgy. For all, even though the actual squad was great, and there are some solid performances, because of a super generic plot, a terrible villain, bad pacing and editing, this ends up being a pretty disappointing film. I'm gonna give Suicide Squad a C-. If you have seen the movie, let me know your spoiler free thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, or you can just click right here to see more. <laughs>